this next comedian, he just moved here from Orlando. He's been crushing it on the East Coast. He's come to LA to take it over. Get ready for Justin Lawson, everybody. Give it up for Justin Lawson. You cut it off, DJ. Turn it off. How we doing? Make some noise. Glad to be here. I traveled doing stand-up. I took a trip to Atlanta. Make some noise if you've been to Atlanta. Four people. I took a trip to Atlanta. It was the worst trip of my life because I got on the most ghettoist airlines of my life. And I know y'all heard of it because it's popular. It's called um, Greyhound. And uh, the things don't even get off the ground. Like, this is a shitty magic school bus right here, y'all. Lizards running around. This is I, I took the uh, I took the Greyhound to Atlanta, and my bus driver was from like the hood of Atlanta. So when he was like doing bus driver announcements, I didn't understand the worry that was going on. I was I need a Rosetta Stone. Like I was I was that confused. He just got on the bus. He was like, All right, straight up, straight up, straight up. <laughs> I'm your bus driver, Dad. Me. <laughs> uh, you call me Jamal, or young Juicy? Yo, 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 yo. Um, we about to ride this thing straight to Atlanta, but before we do that, I gotta do a few announcements that we hear everybody on the same page. You know what I mean? Uh, baby boy with purple lips, ain't no smoking on this bus. Put the weed out. Ain't no drinking on this bus, and most importantly, ain't no sex on this bus right here, unless you involve me. <laughs> I just need a quick pat pat, and I'll get right back. I ain't trying to keep it. You know, sharing the kid. Oh. <laughs> Y'all going like this right here. I took the liberty of putting my mixtape under your seat. Yeah, I did that. So if you want to listen to some tunes later on, you can put my mixtape in. And uh, I gave it to everybody. I was like, Oprah, I was like, you get a mixtape, you get a mixtape, everybody get a mixtape. Yeah, so I put my mixtape in, man. And guys, I put his mixtape in. And it was just him doing bus driver announcements. I was like, this is a shitty, <laughs> it's horrible, it's a horrible mixtape. Yo, I went to Atlanta, so when I went there, I, I went to visit a friend of mine, uh, he's a black dude. Yo, we got in an argument at Chick-fil-A over interracial couples, right? With my old chicken experience. It just, it just went out there. He was upset that there was black dudes talking to white women. He was like, black dudes that talk to white women are sellouts, Uncle Tom's, Jagles, you feel what I'm saying? I was like, dude, first off, get off the table. We're even. <laughs> it's not a rally. <laughs> And I was like, no, I don't feel what you're saying. He's like, I just don't support interracial couples. I was like, dude, you play Drake all the way up here. Like, how you not? You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You voted for Obama. How you not? So, so while I'm arguing with him, there's this white lady behind us decides she wants to join the conversation. Have no problem with it. I just didn't like the way she did it because she didn't get out her her booth, right? And then you know, sit with us and start talking. No, she just. She just tilted her head back <laughs> and put her two cents. She's like, I think that like white and black people should share things like sandwiches, water fountains, whatever. Um, but far as like relationship wise, I think we should be separated. <gasps> Sep that's, she said separated. And as soon as she said that, my inner cat Williams came out. Like I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to be cool. As soon as she said separated, I was like, um, separated bitch. Uh, I think I speak for all the real Americans and the tenants today when I say white and black should not be separated. Mm-mm, boo-boo, we are delicious. <laughs> you ever had Hershey syrup mixed with 2% milk? That shit's good. That's delicious. Let me ask you this. If we're gonna separate whites and black, what the hell are we gonna do with Dalmatians and Panda Bears, you simple chick, you? <laughs> Need to worry about more important things, like why is the president orange? That's not even a real color. <laughs> Man, I look like Zumba shorts and shit. <laughs> Yo, know, so I, I did, I did, uh, Brown's Ride, I just uh, moved here from uh, Orlando to L.A. Yo, know, when I told my grandma I was moving to uh, L.A., she was so disappointed. She was like, you're moving to L.A., baby? Is, first of all, it's very dangerous out there in L.A. And you're not that funny, nigga, so I don't know why <laughs> you're going out there. Guy had an open mic. <laughs> I was telling my girl, I was like, look, I'm not just moving out here blindly i'm not stupid all right i've been looking up for uh looking for la apartments by listening to rap music right <laughs> that way i know where it's safe to live you know i killed a dude on crenshaw for wearing the brown coat i won't go on crenshaw i like this coat this is my dad. I, buy, I, buy a <laughs> I was raised in portland oregon and memphis tennessee though portland oregon memphis tennessee somebody would we in the house portland oregon huh 
No? Okay, that's cool. Why'd you move it? What you mean? Woo! Yeah. Uh, no, but I'm not, I don't, I don't, all right, wait. Don't move it. Don't woof. Uh, no point in the woof. Uh, yeah, so I, I was living in Portland, Oregon, and Memphis, Tennessee. They are very different from each other. Here's how different. In Portland, Oregon, I went to school. I was the only black kid at my school, right? And I moved to Memphis, Tennessee. Ma'am, I was the only white kid. I was like, what? This shit is weird. This is different. The Memphis kid was like, you pronounce your words, bro, for real, straight up? I was like, I do, but I won't if you don't want me to. You want me to say it? Like, yeah. <laughs> One of the kids told me I wasn't black. I was like, dude, I don't know if you see me. Um, not like a flavor, flavor black. I think this will work, though. I think this is good enough. You know? <laughs> I'm here trying to prove that I was black to other black people. That's so stupid, man. That's so stupid. Like, white people don't gotta prove that they're white to other white people. They never had that problem. Like, you don't see this Starbucks coffee, huh? It says Connor on it. I'm Connor, man. So silly, man. They bullied me because I wear glasses. And guess what? I like vision, you know? <laughs> to be able to see, that's amazing. It's, it's, yo, I, I say that because there's people that, you know, that wear fake glasses. Like they, there's people like with 2020 vision that wear fake glasses. And I think all those people are assholes. They're dicks. <laughs> no. And it, this is not a thing. I wish it was a thing. It's not a thing. I wish that people with 2020 vision, right, that wear fake glasses gets AIDS in their eyes. If we could just pray for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, because they got to earn their glasses, man. You just, you fought, like me, I got astigmatism. If I take my glasses off, one of my eyes starts slowly drifting to the left. Oh, it's, it's like a Forrest Whitaker thing or something. My eyes like Fetty Wap, you know? Fetty Wap is a rapper, he's going. Um, <laughs> where, where, I got in an argument with this girl. She's like, actually, just now I wear glasses because it's a fashion thing. It makes me look smart, makes me look class, I look intelligent. I'm like, no, you look blind. You don't, you don't get super, this is not like Spider-Man where you, you get bit by a spider and now you got spider powers. You don't get bit by glasses and you know the vision. You know what You just see you suck at the vision. This is so stupid. And you're making fun of my disability, all right? That's what you're doing, all right? And you're calling it a fashion. It's such an asshole move. That's why I never do that. You'll never see me in the clubs with crutches like, hey, where a party at? They're like, Justin, you crippled? No, I just thought the crutches look good with the jeans. It's a fashion thing. <laughs> and it's hard to fight when you wear glasses extremely hard to fight because people with normal eyes, they cheat, right? They don't fight you fair. For example, got in a fight with the same girl and she did something <laughs> totally unnecessary. She just walks up to me, she goes, fogs up my glasses <laughs> and whoops my ass, you know what I mean? And I was like, I gotta get this girl back. I can't let her win, you know? But I don't hit women because I'm smart. Never do that, man. You know what I did? I walked up to her, I licked my thumb, and I wiped her eyebrow off. <laughs> that way she can't be happy with what she did because she has no facial expressions. You know what I mean? <laughs> my name's Justin Lawson. I hope you have a nice night. Thank you.